Hey, what's going on guys? Josh Donnelly here with another quick pro theme tutorial. In today's video, we are gonna take a quick look at why many times header elements do not match consistently with the design of your page. Uh, so what I mean by this is here we have a button on our page. That button is a pretty standard button and you'll notice the text size is 1M here, right? Now I've gone ahead and saved this as a preset. Um, the preset is my amazing pink button. And so what we're gonna do is apply this preset uh, to our header. So let's go ahead and create a header. And I typically for my first header always uh, have, use the same naming convention here, GN Global Nav 1. How about we actually make that one? There we go. And so here we are. Now, uh, normally, you know, if you wanted to get started quick, you could use a template, but just to show you uh, how this exists, even if you're starting from scratch, let's go ahead and do that. So here we have our bar. Let's go ahead and add in a button. Now we could just grab a button, but we're gonna grab our uh, preset here. So let's drag our preset out and plop that in here. And look at that. That's the same exact button, but it does not really line up in terms of design. And you'll notice even in the header here, we're still at 1M. Now. Call me stupid, this is probably uh, embarrassing to even admit, but I would typically just come in here and where this says 1M, I would probably change that to 0 0.85 or something like that. And now we're getting a little bit closer with our button designs. Um, but that's not really consistent, right? Um, I would love to leave this at 1M. So what is going on here? Why aren't these lining up? Well, the reason is actually pretty simple. Um, your bar here, which contains the button and really anything else that you have in here, right? Um, you know, if you had uh, menu items that were set to specific M sizes or you had, um, you know, I don't know, text up here or whatever, um, this would affect all of that. And what that is, is let's go ahead and click on the bar. And the bar has a base font size of 16 pixels. You see that right here. Now, this very well may uh, be intentional. This very well may have some sort of purpose that Themeco had in you know, building this into uh, the base structure of a header. Um, and so maybe I'm just destroying things here, but the easy fix, and I use this all the time on client sites, is to simply set this from 16 pixels to just one M and hit enter. And there we go, it now matches perfectly and everything will be sized perfectly there as well. So hopefully this was a useful video for you. Uh, honestly, this was a game changer for me. I know it seems small, um, but if you'd like more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And I appreciate all the feedback that you guys have given me so far. Hopefully these videos just continue to get better over time. Thanks guys, and we'll see you in the next video.